Welcome. Today, we have an amazing story about one of our own young adult program teacher, Miss Rhonda Smith. Rhonda was adopted when she was just a baby, and she has been searching for her birth mother for 23 years. And this week, she finally found her. This is big news. So we have Miss Rhonda joining us today. So ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for Miss Rhonda. Rhonda, how do you feel now that you have found your birth mother? I have very mixed emotions. I'm excited, I'm nervous, I'm scared. So, 23 years ago, a deacon at my church wanted to help me find my birth mother and my birth father. And we wrote to an adoption agency and I got my adoption papers. But of course, my parents' last names were uh, blacked out. I just had their first names only. And so, kind of hard to search without paying somebody money, so I kind of gave up for a little bit. And then my daughter-in-law decided she wanted to do a family tree and bought me the Ancestry DNA kit. So about three years ago, we did the Ancestry DNA kit and sent away, from my, uh, sent away with the DNA. And I had a lot of possible matches for family that I'm related to. So um, I first found my father and found out he passed away 10 years ago. So I never got to meet him, but I became friends with a cousin. And they didn't know nothing about me, so she, it was another dead end. She couldn't help me. And then I get all these other matches and I would send emails and nobody would respond until October 21st when um, a cousin named Jamie Rain said, when I emailed him, said, yes, I'm your cousin and I have a cousin named Suzanne and kind of gave me some little bit of information about her. So we started emailing back and forth. And on Monday, he told me where I could find her. I paid to get phone numbers, dead end. And then my daughter Stephanie paid more money for a better service. And I found my sister and we talked to my sister via text messaging and over the phone. And she said um, she was going to break the news to our mom that I had been found. My sisters have been aware of me for the last probably 35 years, but my brother, there's some brothers that they don't know nothing about. They don't know nothing about me. So I waited, I came to work that day, all excited. And by the end of the day, I was really bummed out because nobody called. I thought, oh, I'm not going to hear from her. My biggest fear was going to come true. And I got home from work a couple hours later and I got that phone call from my mother. So we talked for about 40 minutes. It was a good conversation. She explained why she gave me away. She thought was she was doing the best that she possibly could for the time, because this is way back when. And now we're making plans to meet and reunite with one another uh, during spring break. So stay tuned. Wow, what a great story. We are so happy for you. We can believe that you are reunited with your family. We wish you all the best and thank you for sharing your story. Well, thanks, Carmela, for interviewing me. I'm glad that I got to share my story. And I hope everyone stay tuned for the next chapter. <laughs>